everyone, Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I want to show you how you can use the Next Gen Photo Gallery plugin for WordPress, along with the simple PayPal shopping cart plugin to sell your photos online. All right, now the first thing we want to do is download the Next Gen Gallery plugin. I'm going to download that to my desktop here. And while I'm at it, I'm going to grab the simple PayPal shopping cart plugin. You can get that from the plugin repository as well. I'm just getting it direct from the site of the developer from us from Tips and Tricks. Okay, so you can click on download there. Now I'm going to click on in my WordPress installation, I'm going to click on plugins, add new, upload, choose file, and double click next gen install now. It's installed, just click on activate plugin. And now we're going to do the same for the PayPal shopping cart plugin. So click on add new. And like I said, I already have a download and click on upload. Choose file. Install now. Now for the gallery, I'm going to create a new gallery here. So Add gallery. For these, I'm just going to use some demo images that I got from morgfile.com. I don't own these images at all. It's just for this demonstration. Then I'm going to remove them. Okay, so just going to highlight all these images. Click on open. Click on start upload. Oh, I gotta add a gallery name, so we're just gonna call it Gallery One. All right, I paused the video because it was like 17 megs of files, so they're all uploaded now, as you can see here. So now I'm just gonna click on Manage Galleries. Click on the gallery, and now for each each image I'm going to change um, some of the information here. So I want to include a short code in the image um, that will allow us to make a purchase, allow people to make a purchase. So it's going to create a add to cart button. So I have a little text file here with a little cheat sheet for short code. So just grab that. So we got the WP underscore cart underscore button short code. Put in a name, call it skyscrapers for this one, and then we'll put in a price. All right, I'm gonna pause the video as I complete the rest of them. Okay, once all the image names are in place and the short codes are in place so that there's a shopping cart plugin, just click on save changes. All right, now let's go ahead and make sure our simple PayPal shopping cart plugin is activated. And once that's activated, let's create a new page. And we'll call this one the Gallery 1. And we'll grab the shortcut for that. You'll see here under Gallery, Manage Galleries, that we're working with ID number 1 for our gallery. So when we add the new page and we put that short code in, ID one, and this template will come from the shopping cart plugin. So WP hyphen cart that exists within the shopping cart plugin. So that had to be activated first, of course, and for the short codes to generate the buttons. All right, so let's publish this page here and click on view page, and there we can see all our all our products here. So the customers can add each of those products to the cart if they choose. And what we could do is on the WP Shopping Cart page, we'll open that up and we can grab the short code to display a shopping cart. And we can have that show up underneath. So let's click on update. 
Now if we add the product to a, a picture to the cart, it'll show up underneath. So now that somebody could be perching the skyscrapers image. And keep in mind too that um, the shopping cart plugin could be on its own separate page, but just to keep things simple I, I added it underneath the photo gallery. Alright, there's one last bit here I wanted to show you. I should have done this in the original video, but I'm going to add it. I'm adding it in now. Um, I want to show the price and the product name just above the Add to Cart button. It's really simple to do. Click on, uh, go to your gallery, open up that gallery. And for each of the products, we can add we can add to this uh, where the where the Add to Cart button is. We can add to that. So we can put in skyscrapers, which is the name of the product, and price. Just put that right in there in the description. Okay, images. And now when we go back to the demo page here, we can see what it looks like. See now we have the um, the name of the image and the price within there as well. I just wanted to show you that really quick. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Okay, that's it. Again, this is Keith from Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great night.